Hey everybody, let's quickly go through how to set up your controller and connect it to your Amaz or connect it to Amazon Alexa. This is useful if you want to be able to turn your lights on and off from anywhere. Not you don't have to be connected to your home's Wi-Fi to do it. You can do it anywhere you have an internet connection or data. Um, let's quickly just run through how you set that up. Uh, if you go to your configurations, go to sync interfaces down here. Scroll down to the Alexa voice assistant. It's about part way down on that page. Make sure the emulated Alexa device box is checked. And then you can give what you want the Alexa to see as a device um, name. You can type that in here. So I just named mine backlights. Um, so that way I can kind of differentiate it from the other things I have on Alexa. So once you got that checked and save or checked and name hit save, it should save those settings. If it doesn't save those settings after you click save, just go up here, go to info and um, reboot your controller. And then when you go back and look, they'll be changed. Sometimes it requires a, a full on reboot, but okay. So we'll walk through this here quick. Um, if you go to your Amazon Alexa app and go to devices and then go to all devices and then hit the little plus sign up in the corner click add device now the controller will emulate a Philips hue light bulb so you have to select light and then scroll down and find the when it says what brand is your light search for the Philips hue which is here and it says is your hue light Bluetooth enabled you know it's not but just hit yes anyways and then um, just hit discover devices now it tends to take a little while and even if it doesn't work the first time just try it again but you just kind of got to wait okay so it says three devices found and connected so just hit next so I got a couple different devices on here um, you can so obviously backlights is one of them hit setup device and um, you can skip this step and click later and it'll say great we can get started say it's set up ready to use so you can exit out of that after now if you go to your lights whoops go to your devices in the bottom hit lights now backlights is showing there as a new device. So if you look, um, if you look on the color selector there, so now if I hit, it says power's off, but you just gotta hit it once. And then when you hit it again, you'll see the power turned off in the top left corner on the, on the controller, hit it again, turns on, and then you got your different colors. So you can scroll through there, purple, you can see it changing there on the controller. So it does work. Um, if you want to get a little more in depth and actually have a preset show up, I can run through that real quick as well. So if you want to actually have a preset show up, you can go back to your configurations, go to the sync interfaces again. Now the Amazon Alexa thing here, so, so you can also emulate device to call the first blah, blah, blah. So you can max, you can put in as nine. I would pick a couple cause it, it, um, it emulates every preset as a device. So it's it kind of really floods all your devices on your Alexa. It show every single one of these will now come up as a device. It'll be like backlights and then it'll be the name of your preset, four different ones of those. So I'll just say two and hit save back back again now search again on your alexa add device start no i wasn't saying your name devices search add device hit light again Philips Hue, yep, 
Discover devices again and wait. Let's see, now it says two devices found and connected. So hit next. So fall and all white solid. Those are my first two presets. So those are the first two that that's going to show up as. So you can pick both of them if you want or just set up one for now. It just automatically sets them up anyways. And you can hit set up device, but you just skip all that. You can put it in a group if you really want. Label it your, you know, track lighting or whatever. Hit continue. You can do this one as well. Skip that. Continue. All done. Now you can go to your lights and you'll see you got those presets. So now I can hit all white solid, power that on, and now it shows you can see it there on the controller. It went to all white solid. Let's go back, we'll say fall. So we can turn this one off. It actually shuts the lights right off and then go fall on. And now put it on my fall preset, which is number one. You can see the number there right in the corner. Number one there, set it to there. And we can go off, try all white solid again. There, they put it on that preset. It's not foolproof and super functional, but it does work if you know you want to be turning your lights on and off from somewhere else, not being at home. And for me, I just rather put stuff on timers, but some people like that extra bit of control. So yeah, any questions, put them in the comments. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Thanks, bye.